Hello everyone, thanks for watching. We appreciate the support. All right, so in this video, we're gonna go through the process of using UB Data Migration Pro Tool version three, the latest version. This tool is used to migrate data from a Magento 1 store to Magento 2. Before we start though, you should do two things. Download UB Data Migration Pro from UberTheme, install a fresh Magento 2 site. It's recommended that you have a fresh installation without sample data. So first and foremost, you've done some prep work and downloaded UB Data Migration Pro from UberTheme. You've also installed a fresh Magento 2 site. Once you unzip the UB Data Migration Pro download file, you have an app folder. Copy this folder and paste it to the root of your Magento 2 site. Then you should see a new folder, UB Data Migration, located within the app, forward slash code, forward slash uber theme, directory. Now, open up Terminal, then go to your Magento 2 folder and run the following commands to start the installation. PHP space dash F space bin forward slash magento space module colon enable space dash c space uber theme underscore ub data migration hit enter and follow that by this command php space dash f space bin forward slash magento space setup colon upgrade hit enter once done clean the cache php space dash f space bin forward slash magento space cache colon clean all right we're done with the terminal for now Refresh your Magento 2 admin page. You should now see the UB Data Migration Pro icon on the left menu bar. Start the migration. Here is Craft's Magento 1.9.2.4 theme. We will migrate all sample data in this theme to our Magento 2 site. As you can see in the Magento 1 admin, Crass has many sample products in place and sample customers as well. Our Magento 2 remains blank though, without sample data. Navigate to the Magento 2 admin page, then click the UB Data Migration Pro menu icon. A notable change in the new UB Data Migration Pro v3 is that we group all setting steps into a pre-migration configuration section before you start your migration. Now let's start with the first setting. Step one, we need to fill in our database credentials of our Magento 1 site. If your Magento 2 site's database is on the same MySQL server, our UB data migration tool will automatically detect and fill in credentials. In case your Magento 1 and Magento 2 databases are on different MySQL servers, please make sure your MySQL server has remote connection enabled. In setting step two, check the website store you wish to migrate to. UB Data Migration Pro allows you to migrate multiple websites, stores, and store views. Click save and continue again. Now, let's start with setting step three. Our product attribute steps and product attributes will be noted here. You can decide to skip this step and come back to migrate later on if you want to. Go ahead and click save and continue. Next, setting step four, categories. Select all categories or specific ones which you prefer to migrate instead. Click save and continue once again. In the fifth setting step, product types, similar to the above mentioned steps, select the product types you wish to migrate and proceed by clicking save and continue. Now, 
Let's move on to the next setting step, customer groups. It will migrate customer groups and all customers in each group. You can decide to skip this step and come back to migrate later on if you choose to. Click save and continue again. In the seventh setting step, sales data, to finish this step, please note you need to select all objects listed here. If you have large volumes of data, selecting all objects is helpful in improving overall migration performance. Once again, you can decide to skip this step and come back to migrate later on. Yet again, we'll click save and continue. Let's move on to the last setting step now. In this step, we can define settings for other data like reviews, ratings, tax rules, tax zones, catalog rules, email templates, and newsletter data. We'll check this box as well because we probably want to keep it. Then click save and continue. Completed setting steps successfully. Excellent. Now let's move on to the migration step. Are you ready? You can either run migration for individual portions of data or migrate all of the data, all steps. For the sake of the demo, let's click run migrate data, all steps. Migrated data successfully. Cool. If you wish to keep track of what is going on, you can check out the migration log available right in your migration dashboard. We still have a few more small steps though before the data is ready for use. Copy media files from your Magento 1 to Magento 2 site. There will be two folders we need to copy, media slash catalog and media slash downloadable. To save time, here you can see on the screen our crafts media folder. I copy the two folders, catalog and downloadable, to pub slash media in our Magento 2 directory. This is optional. You might need to copy folder media slash WYSI WYG as well, because if your site has inserted images in categories slash product description, these images will be stored in media WYSI WYG. Now we're at our last step, re-index the data and clean the cache. To do this step, we open up our terminal window again, navigate to our Magento 2 folder and run the command php space dash f space bin forward slash magento space cache colon clean. Then start reindex data with the following command php space dash f space bin forward slash magento space indexer colon reindex. Then clean the Magento 2 cache once again. PHP space dash F space bin forward slash Magento space cache colon clean. Now back to your Magento 2 page and refresh. As this remains a default Magento 2, you will not see any products in home page yet. However, you can see a difference now. We have new menu items in our navigation bar. Let's click women for testing. You can see all crafts products in place now. Cool. The same is true in the men's products page. All these products are from the old Magento 1 site. Now, let's see the back end. For instance, go to products, category. You can see that all our Magento 1 products have migrated here. Nice. With the introduction of UB Data Migration Pro version 3, it's possible to migrate incremental changes since the last time you migrated data. You can append only new Magento 1 entries to Magento 2 where new updates occur. Chances are that you'll first run the data migration step then continue designing and integrating functionality to your Magento 2 site. Once you're done designing the new Magento 2 site, more likely than not, new data is created in your Magento 1 site. Now, you only want to transfer the new data that has been created since your last migration, the data on your Magento 1 site. New customers, new orders, new inventory, or other customer-related data that has been created while you've been designing your Magento 2 site. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a delta migration. This is when your migration only transfers new data 
that has been created. I'll show you this by creating new data on our old Magento 1 site and then migrating using UB Migration Pro. Let's start by signing up a new account. and placing an order on our old Magento One site. Successful order. Okay. Now, in our Magento 2 site, the new order we've created is not in our database yet. We need to migrate the new user and order to our Magento 2 site, otherwise they'll be lost. Navigate to your UB Data Migration Pro dashboard. Depending on the specific data you want to update, select the appropriate step. Since we created a new customer and order, we only need to migrate customers and sales. Now, we start migrating new customers' data. Use the reset option if you wish to restore associated database tables to the state before you started migrating. This option is used to re-migrate from the ground up. You can change the settings as well if you wish to do this step again. In our case, we still keep the existing data from our initial migration, updating only new customers and orders data to Magento 2. So now we can simply click rerun. Once we complete the migration step, we need to run the commands reindex data and clean cache. To do the step, we open up our terminal window again, navigate to our Magento 2 folder and run the command php space dash f space bin forward slash magento space indexer colon reindex. Then to clear the cache, type this command php space dash f space bin forward slash magento space cache colon clean. Now let's start migrating new sales data. Migrating customers is similar. Click rerun. Then open up terminal to run the clear cache command once again. php space dash f space bin forward slash magento space Cache, colon, clean. We're 100% complete now. Let's see the order section in our Magento 2 admin page to check if our new order from Magento 1 has migrated successfully or not. Excellent. Here we see the new order from our old Magento 1 site that we created for testing. We have finished completing the Delta migration. Cool. As you can see, UB Data Migration will take care of all the hard work for you. The eight visualized steps are self-explanatory and easy to follow. If you're new to our migration tool, it's a good idea to make a test migration project to get a feel for how UB Data Migration can help you with your database migration before moving forward with our pro version. Check out UB Data Migration Pro and UB Data Migration Lite with the link below. Thanks for taking the time to view, and we trust that your database migration will go smoothly. However, if something happens, then don't hesitate to comment or contact us, and we'll love to be of help. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and good luck.